What's up guys, I'm Jim Tay and today I'm at Whistler Grand. This is a condo that I really love and I've written articles about it and videos about it multiple times before. So I was active during the sales launch and today I'm here. I have a number of units I want to share with you, different layouts that are available for rent or for sale at this beautiful project and then I will also take you on a tour of the facilities. There is a timeline below where if you press for time, just skip to the section which interests you the most. Follow me. Now this is a 2 plus study unit, 764 square feet. Okay, where I'm standing is right at the main door. On the right, you have this enclosed kitchen. So this is stack 10. Stack 10 was one of the most popular layouts when the project was first launched. Why? Because it's the only 2 plus study layout that has uh, windows at the kitchen area. So this makes the windows a bit brighter and uh, more well ventilated. However, Stack 10 also came with a price premium at launch. So similarly, all the appliances, the fridge, the washer dryer are all provided. Further on, you have this. Um, this is the study area. Also comes with windows and your common bath is directly connected to the study. It is a Jack and Jill style toilet with the other common room on the other side. Aircon latch, it's outside here. Okay, and this is a lower floor unit. Opposite, you can see the, um, the older condominium Botania. Dumbbell layout, okay. Rooms, the master bedroom is on the other side of the living room. Okay, on the left side of the entrance, these are the carpentry that is done up by the developer. So nice cabinets. Okay, before we go out on the balcony, let's take a look at the master bedroom. Master bedroom, here you have the full height windows from, um, from ceiling to floor, okay, because there's no aircon latch on this side. And two-door wardrobe. Same for the common room, there were wardrobes on this side as well. This is the toilet. Okay. Master bedroom toilet is mechanically ventilated. In terms of the view, let me step up into the balcony. Very good sized balcony here, as you can see. Outside, because I'm on the lower floors, you will still get to see um, a view of Botania. And on the right, however, you can see the nice reservoir view. And if you look down, definitely you can see the nice pool view from this floor as well. All right, so this is the two plus study stack 10. Okay, now here we are at a 990 square feet, stack 20, 3 bedroom dual key. I'm at the entrance here and you can see this is the entrance foyer for the 3 bedroom dual key. This door is the door that goes into the 2 bedroom, this is the living room. And on the right is the door that goes into the studio unit. Okay, the developer has very thoughtfully designed at the entrance foyer, the shed foyer, these cabinets that will be used by both of your tenants or yourself if you are own stay in either the, the two bedroom or the studio units. Okay, let's take a look first at the two bedroom. Recall this is 990 square feet. However, I think the developer has done a very great job with the layout. So you have a nice good sized living room here and even a closed kitchen. Totally enclosed kitchen. The developer has provided a door that helps you to close the unit as well. Okay, fridge, gas stoves, and the kitchen is ventilated with your own window. As we head to the bedrooms, first off, the common room. Again, very good size, as are all the rooms here at Whistler Grand. You have your cabinets, full height windows. There's no concern about any um, half windows here because all the aircon ledges for this layout are at the back near to the kitchen. This is the master bedroom, very good size. You can see as I walk towards the uh, master bedroom bath. Again, the wardrobe space and the master bath. Also with its own window. This layout is a very, very good layout because the 990 square feet is superbly, is superbly efficiently designed. This common bath, and this is the window and the aircon latch is at the back as I mentioned earlier. This unit is definitely a very good size two bedroom unit that you can rent out or use for your own stay. On the other side here, we head to the studio unit. Oh, before I forget, 
let me show you the balcony of this unit where we are on one of the higher floors now we are still facing south so it's similar to one of the earlier stack 10 units that i shown you earlier however being on a higher floor now you can see that you overlook the nearby condo Botania okay and on the right you have a clearer view of the reservoir okay now let's head over to the studio unit over at the studio unit you can also see that it is very well equipped right from the get-go at the entrance you have a little cabinet here where your prospective tenant or yourself can store your shoes and other easy to assess items this is your bathroom okay this bathroom however is mechanically ventilated and your own washer and dryer take note unlike some dual key units where the washer and dryer is shared outside at the foyer area this studio unit has its own washer dryer induction hob sink okay very well equipped unit and this is the area for your bed for your table for your main living wardrobe space and again this similar view over botania see over there is the balcony of the two bedroom portion of the studio unit yep so this is a 990 square feet very efficiently designed three bedroom dual key now we are at a high floor unit, stack 15. When you open the door and enter, the first thing you will see is the beautiful view. So for this unit, I want to focus on the view first, because that's definitely one of the key selling points. So we're on a very high floor here, above level 25. You can see the view. This overlooks north and is across the landed cluster. Okay, this is a permanent unblocked view because this land is zoned for landed and therefore their zoning is very 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 unlikely to change right so this is the balcony you do face the expressway here so do expect some noise compared to the south facing units all right so it is a similar 764 square feet unit 2 plus study so here is the uh, kitchen okay and then you have your study with a Jack and Jill toilet. So this toilet, Jack and Jill bathroom, links to the other common room, meaning that it's possible to have two master bedrooms as well. Right, even from, from the common bath, you get the same unblocked view across the landed homes. These are your wardrobes. In the living room, you have nicely done up carpentry here, okay? And then there are two air conditioning units. Over along the master bedroom, this is where you get the highlight, okay? Your master bedroom this way, you have your full height windows that overlook the same magnificent view towards the north. Bathrooms here are mechanically ventilated. Yep, so this is the 2 plus study, 764 square feet, stack 50. Take one more look at the view. Wow. Yep, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of those few units to share. Anyway, with me here is uh, Richie, resident agent of Whistler Grand. So if you need anything about Whistler Grand, I mean, you can always look for him. You will see him nearby hanging around in the pool as well. Yeah, so yeah. look for me. Yes, okay, his contact number, I'll put it below here as well as in the description. Now let us move on to the beautiful facilities at Whistler Grand. I'm standing here at the entrance of Block 109 and right in front of me is the pool. Let's follow me in this view as we walk through the facilities here on level 1. There are also beautiful sky terraces on both blocks at level 24 and level 30. Look at the beautiful pool. This pool is more than 80 meters long. On the left, you have some gardens, small little garden patios. Right? And if I carry on here, Turn to the left. There's a path that leads me to another side of the facilities. This is block 109. Right? And over here, you have the main entrance. This is the main entrance for the cars to enter. The main drop-off point. See? Again, you have another fern 
patio. So this is what surrounds the blocks here at Whistler Grand. Notice that level 2 is elevated above ground. So even the low floors, you have a nice view. Okay, more patios at the back. You're just surrounded by so much greenery here at Whistler Grand. This of course is Botania, the condo in front that you have seen from the units I've shown earlier. So at the back, we come to the area known as the Wellness Club. This is the yoga deck. Right, Let's see the yoga deck. And then you have your hydrotherapy pools and your spa lagoon in this beautiful area for adult relaxation. There's a whole other area meant for kids on the other side of the facilities. Okay, I can't proceed further here because it's wet. Let me go over to the other side. There you go. Hydrotherapy pool. This entire area, as mentioned earlier, is known as the Wellness Club. So again, more greeneries around the block and a patio area. Let me just zoom in. Yes, Kelly Sonia patio. Let's carry on. See, this entire area is beautifully done up with deck chairs as well. And they have hammocks, two hammocks for relaxation, as well as glamping pots. Check it out. This is the glamping garden. In fact, this place is known as the Leisure Club. Okay, two glamping gardens. More chairs, more relaxation areas at the back. Okay. Let me walk to the end. Let's see what's there. Ah, this is a dead end. Okay, and here you have what is known as the river hammock. So interesting, right? Maybe I should try lying on there, but I think not the right time. River hammock. Yep, so that's it for this entire area of facilities. This is a triangular plot of land and I think the developer has done really, really well. Okay, let's head over to the other side. And now I'm moving on to another highlight of Whistler Grand and it's definitely its kid-friendly facilities. Look behind me, this is a kids adventure course and that's even a slide, they even have a slide for the kids. This is just a small portion of all the kids' facilities that I'm about to show you. This entire area is known as the Outdoor Kids Aqua Course. Beautiful, it comes with a slide and you know these, um, these flowers where kids like to jump across. Can't imagine the amount of noise that the kids will create when they are playing here. Then you have this that is known as the um, Misty Pond, so you can see the mist coming out, it's called the Misty Pond and it's called the Aqua Swing as well, these swings where the kids, I mean even adults may love to play here Look at the slide, such a long slide, and this is the staircase up okay. Here you have not one but two playgrounds, okay, two playgrounds for the kids and you also have a BBQ pavilion right here, so if you, you have parties, you host your guests and their kids, I mean, this is a good place. Ah, right here, where I am, we also see that there is a path that leads downwards to the car park. Okay, later on, I'll show you where the side gate is. Okay, let's just carry on, focus on the kids area first. Here, you have the kids trampoline and the toddler's playground. Okay, you have another BBQ pavilion here. You can hear that as we come closer to the end, the noise is getting louder. That's because AYE is right behind us. Look at this. This is a golf, golf garden where it's like a driving range, right? And they have a golf practice, a putting green.
out this place Kids Xylophone Playground So beautiful So all the barbecue pavilions are concentrated around this area So this is barbecue pavilion 1 Earlier you have seen barbecue pavilion 2 closest to AYE And the first one we saw was barbecue pavilion 3 Behind this way this is where your tennis court is located Right? One of the side gates is over here Let me head down So the earlier door was not a side gate And in fact it is a, a gate that leads to the basement Let me just show you the side gate Ah, Over here This side gate when you exit you turn right you reach the bus stop that's outside back to the facilities and look what we have here it's called a kids sports pool and you have a basketball court a basketball board i would say here this is a parkour parkour gym and you even have a kids climbing wall wow the facilities here for kids is definitely one of the best of any condos that i've ever seen And that's not all. Look, it's a carry on walking. Here you have a fitness zone, outdoor fitness gym. I guess more for adults. And you even have a kids aqua flying fox. Wow, check this out. Amazing. I think it's fun for adults and kids as well. Right? So this is the kids facilities. Oh wait. I even have a table tennis table here cool and here I am at block 107 so the kids facilities are nearer to block 107 similar to block 109 block 107 is also surrounded by a ton of greenery and many of these patios as you can see Yep, next let's head over to the main adult facilities in the center. Take a closer look at the uh, lap pool as well as the cantilevered gym. Let's carry on to the reading pavilion, spa lounge and lap pool. Again, first up all this nice outdoor space for relaxation. Ton of this pool cabanas. And here this is your spa lounge slash your leisure stream. Place where you can relax, sit in the pool, dip your feet in water and get a bit of a sun tan. Okay. 0 0.10 meters. Beautiful pool. Beautiful chairs for lounging. Okay, here's a shower. And more patios at the back. Daisy patio. Daisy patio. This is the other side of the block, the other entrance of block 107. It leads out straight to the pool. There you go, that's the cantilever gym. Cantilever gym, the meaning is because it's raised above the water, you can see. Beautiful. Staircase that leads down to the basement. Ah, Bird of Paradise Patio. Interesting name, I only know the Birds of Paradise ice cream. Okay. One more shower facility over here. Opposite, of course, is uh, Twin View. A recently completed condo as well. Last year, in fact, a year before Whistler Grand. This is the pool view from the other direction. Very long, very wide. Definitely enough to serve the residents here at Whistler Grand. 1.2 meters deep. Okay. Let's head up. Let's take a look. Before we head up, oh, there you have one more facility here, known as the lawn deck and the wellness deck yep cool 
just more hangout areas here at Whistler Grand. They really make use of the space to give you such an open feeling. I believe the two blocks, two blocks only take up about 20% of the land area here. Okay, let's head up and take a look at the cantilevered gym. Ah, before that, this is the clubhouse. Club Gome. Beautiful. Don't think I can enter. You see? Ah, yes, I can enter. So let's take a look. Wait, oops, I can't. So I can, I can't. So this is a closer look at the grand drop off. Pretty nice, I would say. Over there, you can see that table is a residential host. Quite cool. You seldom have condominiums in the uh, outside central region OCR having concert services. Let's head up now. I want to take a look finally at the cantilevered gym. Wow. So yeah, level two. This is the gym. Let's hope my card works this time. Oh yes, there's people inside. I better not take. Oh, look! It's Richie again, the resident Hi, agent here. Wow, how's the gym? Very good. Very good. Yeah, let's take a look. I think you have already used the gym. So you have all these, what? Uh, the cycling machines, weight machines, free weights. Wow, what a small world that uh, I bumped into Richie again. <laughs> yeah, so very, very nice, very, very good size, well equipped gym. See, they even have this, uh, not sure what this is, balancing board. <laughs> And from here, you can see a very, very nice view of the pool. Okay, there's this stairs out of the gym. Bye-bye, Richie. Bye-bye. Thanks. Let's head down. And the next stop is we are going to look at the sky terraces at level 24 and level 30. Outside the lift. Here we are at level 24. This is the sky club. Benches, Sky Club, and here you can see the view, view towards the north. Again, the condos, uh, Botania, further behind you can see Monterey Park as well. This plot of land on the right is slated to be a school, okay, it's uh, education under the master plan. Further beyond, you also have a plot of land over there, that is zoned as residential land. Okay, let's walk further to explore this entire floor. Two places to hang out. So the sofas over there on the other side when I first came up and proper tables here with even a sink. Some works are still being taken place here. Let's take a look. Okay, nothing else here at the back. Right. I'm waiting in the lift heading up to level 30. I'm quite excited. It's my first time coming up and this is definitely going to be one of the highest points along West Coast. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Star Club Level 30. Sorry, I apologize. The view is actually towards the south. Earlier, I said the north. You can see that further up here, the view is, I mean, I, I just have to say it's breathtaking. Uh, it's much nicer than Level 24. You can see a better, a clearer Pandan Reservoir this way. Further across, you can see the sea more clearly too. Wow. That high up, look at how high up we are. There's the pool. Oh, I gotta be careful I don't drop the phone. So this is a nice bird's eye view of the Whistler Grand facilities. The pool, the uh, grand entrance, right? And all the greeneries, look, it's so, it's so green that they even put greeneries on the roofs of the facilities. Wow. So I'm standing right here on level 30. The, uh, the Star Club, you'll notice that from this block, block 107, you will still be, you'll still have this block in front of you, block 109. But from 109, if you're looking towards the south, you definitely get a clearer unblocked view. So I'm going to head over there right now and then same thing to level 24 and level 30 and we we'll, and to show you the views from over there. So here we are at level 24 of block 109. 
you can see here you don't see the other block block 107 in front of you so it's an open view for the entire 180 degrees you can see the difference okay of course it's a personal preference which view you prefer i think it's quite marginal both views after all face towards the south and you can see the reservoir as well as you're pretty unblocked almost seeing the sea and on the higher floor level 30 in fact seeing much more of the sea so i think your unit is the most important thing if you're thinking of buying something here at whistler grand carrying on for level 24 you'll see that they have multiple couches here for you to relax and hang out again a sink more benches more couches right sky club here we are at level 30 Level 30 of Block 107, the Star Club. Yeah, it's quite windy here, you can see. Plants, the leaves are all rustling. Ah, and here's the view. Beautiful. The reservoir, as mentioned, the education site, the empty plot of land, Montre Park, Botania, all the lander caster. Wow, oh, see? This is what I mean. 180 degrees clear and block view end of the day how often do you come to these facilities remember as i shared earlier they should not be your main decision making factor when buying a unit at whistler grand that's pretty much it for all the uh, facilities in whistler grand i just have one more if you watch till the end one more bonus amenity to share with you here's a bonus See? this is a at the back And then you're supposed to have shops here, right? 0101 and 0102. So the question is, where are your amenities? So right behind me is Whistler Grand and I want to show you something very, very interesting. There's this uh, green road behind me. Okay, look. Behind me, there's this green road, this green path here. Okay, this green path here is a new road. In the past, when they marketed the property, they said that there is a possibility that this road, this green patch will actually be an uh, be, uh, open road and drivers will be able to cut through to reach New West where many of your closest amenities are. So without this road, I mean, I, I, I would think that owners, when they see this green path here, they might feel a little bit disappointed. You can walk. There is a pedestrian pavement here. However, for cars, you still have to go one big round before you can hit AYE as well instead of just traveling over here and you reach Carabelle and you can head down e AYE towards the west. So where then should residents, occupants of Whistler Grand go for their nearest amenities? First of all, you have seen the shops earlier as shown from the basement. However, they are actually much more accessible from the front of the property here. You can see 0101 and 0102. So, Understandably, these two shops will most likely become a mini mart or maybe a small provision shops. However, in the meantime, let me show you something that's very awesome and I think really, really useful. Opposite, opposite, let me just cross the road opposite at uh, Twin View. You can see over there Twin View. Okay, Twin View, we actually have a Fair Price Express. Pretty well stocked as you can see. Wow, they even have fresh meat here. Wow. Pretty awesome fair price express, I would say. Yep, so that's it for this video on Whistler Grand. I hope you enjoyed it and gained good value. Crossing back the road, enter my car and I'm leaving. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Jim Tay. Do support. Um, leave me a like. Give me a like. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not yet done so. I'll see you in my next video.